I'm Nikki Fitzgerald and you're watching Adorama TV. Today is a great day to be a photographer with an iPhone. The iPhone 6 has just come out along with its big brother, the iPhone 6 Plus. Um, both come with a brand new iOS 8, giving the camera some serious enhancements and capabilities, including the fantastic super slow motion video. Now this is great for capturing your pets running around your beach, slowing that right down. Also brilliant for those magical moments that go too quickly like your children winning a school race or scoring a goal. Slow motion is beautifully clear and we're going to be taking a look at that. Adorama TV presents iPhoneography with Nikki Fitzgerald. So here's my fabulous new iPhone 6. It's got a whopping 4.7 inch screen. It's brighter, it's got more contrast. It's absolutely wonderful uh, for both viewing and editing pictures. Um, we've also got some super little curves on it, making me nostalgic for my old iPhone 3GS, making it really, really nice to handle. Now, there's a new polarizer just underneath the screen, and this means you can actually see the screen when you're with your sunglasses on. In bright sunny days also, because of the new, brighter, richer screen, it's easy to take photographs in the sunshine. Now, Apple have also introduced something called dual domain pixels. Now, what this does is actually makes the colour truer and more accurate, no matter what angle you're viewing it from. So if you're sharing photographs with friends, then this is going to be fabulous for all of them to see at different angles. I was worried about the iPhone 6 being too big, especially with my iPhone street photography obsession, but actually it's thinner, it's got curves on it, and it feels really great to handle. Apple have also added um, two elongated buttons, the volume control buttons. They've made these longer, so they're much easier to navigate. And they've also moved the sleep wake button from the top position into a much easier position just on the right hand side. So it's easy to get even for smaller hands um, with your thumb. Now the battery is longer, which is a long awaited change. You know, we use our iPhones for a lot of different tasks. So um, a longer battery going all day, taking photographs is a very, very welcome change. I've got myself a brand new leather case for the phone. Um, it fits like a glove. It's very thin, which is great. It's not adding any weight to the phone and it's not adding any extra bulk to the phone. Um, and it's also smooth, which is lovely, but it's not slippery, which is very important because us iPhoneographers tend to get into spaces, um, precarious places, where perhaps other digital photographers can't quite reach. You'll be pleased to know that the iPhone 6 is not just a pretty face with some practical ergonomic differences. It also has some really useful things under the bonnet as well. Now one of these is reachability. Now what this means for smaller hands, we know the iPhone 6 is much bigger, is that we can now reach the top of the menu. And what we have to do is just double tap on the uh, home key button on the bottom and then double tap again to return. And what this means is you can now easily reach the top of the menu. Absolutely no problem at all. Absolutely um, ingenious move by Apple. The 8 megapixel camera stays the same, as does the f2.2 aperture. Um, but what Apple realizes is that it's not all about pixels. It's got a seriously improved sensor, which is getting more light, uh, more information. And what this means is focus pixels, or faster autofocus. This is great for getting sharper pictures. We've also got a new uh, time-lapse photography in the camera mode and this means you can now film things that happen over a long period of time in a really short uh, video clip. And we've also got true tone flash which is giving a warmer natural light to our photographs, better face detection and in low light because of this new improved sensor we're getting much clearer sharper photographs with a notable decrease in noise. Now, panoramas were fantastic before. They're now being shot at 43 megapixels. This is more detail than ever before. They were detailed and brilliant before, but at this new 43 megapixels, they look absolutely fantastic. Okay, we've talked a lot about the photography side of things, but there's really no way I can go without mentioning the cinematic video stabilization. Now, this is absolutely fantastic um, for when you're walking on really uh, uneven ground like this one. Um, it also shoots at 1080 P um, at 60 frames per second, so you're going to get really smooth video. Now the other video mode is a slow motion video. This is shooting at 240 frames per second. Now combine this with the continuous autofocus as you shoot, you're going to get super slow motion video. 
Now, we're going to go and set up here now um, and take some slow motion video. But the first thing you need to do is turn your airplane mode on. Now, this is really important because you don't want a message or a text or a call spoiling your beautiful slow motion video. The other thing you must remember is to have your um, camera in landscape mode. Now, this is really important because landscape mode will play back well on your 16.9 um, video screen, your TV screen or your computer screen. You also need to hold your camera really firmly. Now, get a tripod, lean on something, bring your arms in uh, tightly to your chest and this will make sure your video is really really smooth now near and now we need a great subject well here we go here's dave hi dave and i meet dave he's a beautiful fluffy labradoodle beautiful floppy ears which when he runs is going to look fantastic when he's running along the combination of his legs his fur his flopping ears um, and if we get him in the water the drips coming off him all this slowed right down and he's a handsome fellow as well he's going to look fabulous i've switched to slow mode and i'm holding my arms in tight to get good grip get close to your subject or make sure your video contains both close-up and distance shots if possible fantastic slow motion video. I've been down on the beach uh, filming the dogs and what we can do now is we can actually send this straight away uh, to our friends and family and what you can do is just click on the bottom left hand um, preview button uh, that will bring up a preview of your video. In the top you'll see um, a clip um, and you can actually trim this um, using the bars on the right and the left. Um, by default um, the, the video will actually play at normal speed at the beginning and the end. The slow motion bit will be, will be in the middle, but you can use the blue bars um, just here at the top to adjust those so you can make it um, all slow motion or just parts of it. Um, and what you can do now is send this um, to your friends and family by clicking on the bottom left hand corner icon. Um, and this will give you an option to mail it to somebody who you love or know. Um, so click on mail and then you can trim the video once more here simply type in who you want it to email and send your fantastic slow motion video and show everybody you know just what a brilliant slow motion video artist you are have some fun with it slow motion is a really great addition to the camera app hi nikki fitzgerald here for adorama be sure to check out adorama's latest contest to win prizes i hope you've enjoyed our look at the iphone 6 Together with the iOS 8, this really is an amazing piece of kit for both the serious photographers